Broncos country. Let's ride. Welcome in the Broncos Breakdown. I am Will Scott filling in for Matthew Peterson, who is still in London, England. That's a terrible British accent, accent but that's okay. And when he gets back, he's going to have you covered with the best Broncos free agency coverage. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go down, hit that subscribe button below. And, you know, we're going to have a lot of breaking news here in the coming weeks. So turn on your notifications. It's the best way to stay in the loop with all Denver Broncos news. Maybe a Broncos free agent target is going to be Caleb McGarry, the Atlanta Falcons right tackle. ESPN, they put together this list, the top 50 NFL free agents, and for every single one, they had the best fit, and the Broncos were the best fit for the impending free agent Caleb McGarry from the Atlanta Falcons. Here is what ESPN said in this article. Starting right tackle Billy Turner is heading to free agency. So the Broncos would be smart to land McGarry to block for Russell Wilson in Sean Payton's new offensive system. A 2019 first-round pick, McGarry has some quickness off the ball and can use his movement skills to match up the speed on the edge. While longer pass rushers can create conflict for McGarry, I see him as an upgrade for Denver. Wilson took 55 sacks last season which tied for the most in the NFL. And as ESPN noted, the Broncos' offensive line was the worst in the league last season. 55 sacks, it was a problem. Yeah, Russell Wilson uh, was not cooking, but he also didn't have much help. Taking a look at McGarry's PFF grades, he is one of the better right tackles available in free agency. An 86.6 overall grade. Now, the pass blocking grade, not outstanding, but the run blocking grade among the league's best, 91.6 PFF run blocking grade. Taking a look at the Broncos offensive line, Billy Turner, the right tackle. He is a free agent, so you probably have a void to fill at that position. McGarry would be an upgrade, and he would certainly help protect Russell Wilson. It's going to be a big year for Russ, his second year as the Broncos starting quarterback. Now, do you want to sign... Caleb McGarry, type S for sign or P for pass, down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when you get hit with an ad break here in a few seconds, go down and chime in. Do you want to sign Caleb McGarry? Next up on today's show, we're going to break down a, a draft target for the Broncos. Bleacher Report put together a list of a dream draft target for every single team in the NFL. We'll tell you who they said for the Broncos here in a second. But first, I want to tell you about today's show sponsor, Cultivate, the free browser extension that brings transparency to your Amazon shopping experience. Cultivate shows you the brand, seller, or product origin and identifies local alternatives that support local community efforts while saving you money. With over 50% of Amazon U.S. sellers based in China, Cultivate offers a way to avoid trickery from those sellers and keep money in the U.S. economy. Cultivate offers alternatives that are on average 30% less expensive than Amazon without any additional costs such as Amazon Prime. It can even identify local alternatives that you can pick up the same day. Cultivate users earn free donations as rewards for using the extension, and the more you use it, the more you earn in donations by increasing your level. In fact, Cultivate donates 51% of the revenue they make on your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Go to wecultivate.us slash chat sports and download Cultivate for free. I repeat, for free. Let Cultivate bring transparency, savings, and community support to your Amazon shopping journey. Support the show by downloading with our link, wecultivate.us slash chat sports. That link is going to be in the comments and the description of today's video. WeCultivate.us slash chat sports. Now let's get in to Bleach Report's Broncos dream draft target. And the Broncos are interesting when you're writing an article like that because they don't have a first round pick. They don't have a second round pick. So their first pick is going to be in the third round. And Bleach Report believes that the Kansas State defensive end Felix Anudike Uzama is the dream draft target for the Broncos. Here is what they said. Will he still be available in the third round? For the Broncos, who aren't on the clock until number 67 overall, that's the biggest question for, like, every notable prospect. Denver has to bolster its edge-rushing depth. 
following the midseason trade of Bradley Chubb. Felix and Udike Uzama collected 25 and a half tackles for loss and 19 and a half sacks in the last two years. So that's a really big question for not just this particular prospect, but a lot of prospects that the Dol- or I should say that the Broncos are going to look at, right? It kind of reminds me last year, the Dolphins, their first pick after trading all their picks for a bunch of guys, their first pick was in the third round. A very similar to the Broncos this year, right? It's going to be interesting to see what they do in the third round, but the big question is, will a guy like Felix and UDK Uzama still be on the board? 46 tackles last year, 11 tackles for loss, eight and a half sacks, two forced fumbles last year for Felix and UDK, and UDK Uzama at Kansas State. Taking a look at the Broncos defensive line depth chart, and Bleacher Report mentioned that after the trade of Bradley Chubb to Miami, uh, they really need to bolster this defensive line, and I think he would get pretty significant playing time in year one, even as a third-round pick. If you were to bring him in, he got Deshaun Williams, he got D. Day Jones, you got Draymond Jones on this defensive line right now. A little bit of depth behind those guys, uh, but the Broncos certainly need to address this need in either free agency or the draft, or maybe even both. I could definitely see them going out and signing an edge rusher and also bringing somebody in in the draft as well, maybe with that first pick in the third round if they don't trade up. Now, do you want to draft Felix and UDK? Uzama, why for yes, in for no, down in the comment section. Go down and let me know. Chime in below. Why for yes, in for no. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think he's going to be available in the third round uh, when the Broncos are picking. But if the Broncos are on the clock and Felix and UDK Uzama is still on the board, they better take him. And Broncos fans are probably going to be upset if they don't because uh, he would probably be the best player on the board. And it would fill a pretty significant team need. Want to hit on this news before we let you go. Jeremy Fowler tweeting this out this morning. Northwestern running backs coach Lou Ieni is headed to the Broncos in the same position per source. That's the second assistant off Northwestern head coaches, Pat Fitzgerald staff, to earn an NFL position coach job recently, joining new Cardinals secondary coach Ryan Smith. So now we have the offensive coaching staff finalized. Joe Lombardi is going to be the offensive coordinator. That hire was made official a few days ago, if you missed that. Of course, he was the Chargers OC last two seasons. Uh, Broncos fans have mixed emotions about that hire, to say the least. Davis Webb, the quarterback's coach. Lou Ianni, the newest member of this coaching staff. Uh, The running back's coach. Kiri Colbert, the wide receiver's coach. Zach Streep, yes, is that Zach Streep, the guy that played for the Saints? Uh, for many years. Fun fact, was actually the voice of the New Orleans Saints after his playing days for a little bit, offensive line coach. And then Declan Doyle is the tight ends coach. So Sean Payton putting together a pretty solid staff here. Grade the hire of Lou Ianni, the Northwestern running backs coach, going to take the same position in Denver, type A, B, C, D, or F. I don't know a whole lot about him. I didn't watch a whole lot of Northwestern football last year, to be honest. Who did if you're not a Northwestern alum? Uh, but at the same time, I trust what Sean Payton is putting together here. Uh, Sean Payton has you know, a lot of control within this organization, as he should. He hires Ianni to be the running back's coach, and uh, running back certainly going to be a need for the Broncos this offseason. 